Mastering commas in complex sentences. Decoding non-restrictive elements. Hello there, English language learners. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of punctuation, more specifically commas, and how they interact with non-restrictive elements in complex sentences. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid grasp on how to punctuate complex sentences that contain non-restrictive elements correctly. So, let's get started. First and foremost, we need to understand what non-restrictive elements are. These are elements or parts of a sentence that, although they add extra information, aren't vital to the sentence's main meaning. That is, even if you remove them, the sentence will still make sense and its core meaning won't change. Consider this sentence. My brother, who loves to read, has a vast collection of books. Here, who loves to read, is a non-restrictive element. Even if we remove it, the sentence still makes sense. My brother has a vast collection of books. So, how do we use commas with non-restrictive elements? We place them right before and right after the non-restrictive element to set it apart from the rest of the sentence. In our previous example, we placed commas before and after, who loves to read, to show its extra information, not crucial to the sentence's meaning. It's important to note that you shouldn't use commas with restrictive elements, which are necessary for the sentence's main meaning. For example, in the sentence, people who love to read often have a large vocabulary, who love to read, is a restrictive element because it's vital to the meaning of the sentence. If you remove it, the sentence's meaning changes significantly. The challenge often lies in correctly identifying non-restrictive elements. Here's a tip. If you can remove a part of the sentence without changing its core meaning or making it grammatically incorrect, it's likely a non-restrictive element. For instance, in the sentence, my dog, a golden retriever, loves to fetch, a golden retriever, is a non-restrictive element. The sentence still makes sense without it. My dog loves to fetch. There you have it, folks. You've now mastered the art of using commas with non-restrictive elements in complex sentences. This can greatly improve your writing, making it more professional and precise. Just remember to correctly identify non-restrictive elements and use commas to set them apart. Don't forget, practice makes perfect, so keep writing and refining your skills. Thanks for watching and happy learning!